What's up everybody? This is Scarfather123 here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get paid applications for free using Cydia. Now I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible, so let's get started. First, you're going to need to have a jailbroken device, either an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. If your device isn't jailbroken, you can go into the description below and there will be a link to one of my videos on how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Once your device is jailbroken, we can continue with this process. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to have to download two things from Cydia. And in order to do that, we're going to have to add some sources into Cydia. So let's open up Cydia. Once Cydia opens up, it should look like this. And just let it load. Mine's already loaded up. And we need to now add some sources. So we're going to go into the bottom where it says sources on the left hand side and click on it. This should show you all of the sources you have in Cydia currently. Now we're going to add two sources to Cydia. And to do this, you're going to go to the top right hand side click edit and add now both of these sources will be in the description below in case you can't keep up with the video the first source we're going to add is Cydia dot iPhone cake dot com and then you're going to click add source I already have the source so I'm not going to be adding it. The second source we're going to be adding is repo.hackyouriphone.org and you're going to add that one as well. Once you're done you should be presented with two sources similar to these. That one, that one. Now we actually need to install two things on Cydia. We're going to go to the search bar on the bottom right and first we're going to download App Cake. And as you can see I already have it downloaded and it should look similar to this one App Cake version 4.90 and at, in the description it should say works on your iPhone and iPad for 7.0 through 8.1 and then you're going to install it on the top right hand side mine says modify because I already have it installed once we've installed app cake we now need to install app sync so we're gonna go to the search bar and type app sync and as you can see, mine is already installed. AppSync 5.x through 8.x. And it should look similar to this one from Hack Your iPhone. Once you install this one by clicking on the top right hand side, you may need to reboot your device. Whenever I download a new AppSync, I always reboot my device just in case. So once you install AppSync and then reboot your device, you can continue with this process. Okay, so once you go to your home screen, you should see an icon similar to this one that says App Cake with a little star on it. And then we're going to click on it. App Cake is basically an app store, but for free. However, it is a little bit more complicated to use than the normal app store. Before we download anything, we're going to go into the settings. And as you can see, there are a few settings to choose from. What I like to have is automatically install on for whenever you download an application, it automatically installs it on your device. Also, I like to have delete after install because we're right now going to be downloading the file to the app you want. And once it's installed, you no longer need that file. Now let's search for an application you wish to download. To do this, you're going to go on the bottom right hand side where it says search and then click on the search bar on the top. Now I'm going to download a paid game just to demonstrate how it's done. Let's search for Angry Birds.
as you can see it says Angry Birds Space and right here at the top it says 51.3 MB and this normally on the App Store costs 99 cents. It will also show you a description about the application as well as the compatibility with each device and iOS. Now in order to download this you're going to go and click download on the left hand side. You will be presented with a bunch of links, different websites you can download the application from. I always use filepup.net because it works best for me. Now a screen similar to this one should pop up. Angry Birds and it says 50 MB. We're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says download file and click on it. Now we always have to click on slow because we haven't actually paid the website to be able to download them faster. Now it's going to contact the server and an ad should pop up. Eventually a little spinning circle should pop up and now it says download started Angry Birds space. If we go to the bottom in the download section and we go to downloading it should show your Angry Birds downloading. Now let's wait for the download to finish. Okay so once it's done downloading it will no longer be in the downloading tab. You're going to have to click on the downloaded tab. And as you can see, Angry Birds is done downloading and it says done. In order to install this application now, you're going to have to click on it and hit install. And now it says begin installing Angry Birds space. Now once this is done installing, you'll be able to use the application as if you paid for it. Okay, so now that Angry Birds finished installing, we can delete the file we just downloaded by swiping left and clicking delete. Now we can go to our home page and see where the application is at. As you can see, Angry Birds is right there installed. Now let's click on the game to see if it works. Okay, so the game looks like it's opening. Click play. Let's just click on anything random. Um. Okay, so that was a failure. But whatever, at least we know the game works. And that's it guys, now you're free to download paid applications for free. However, as a disclaimer, I don't recommend doing this. The developers work really hard day and night trying to make these applications for us and deserve every penny they ask for. This video was only for educational purposes only. Use at your own risk. So since I only did this video to demonstrate how it's done, I'm going to actually delete the game now. But thank you guys for watching. This has been another Scarfather 1, 2, 3 video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Like this video by giving it a big thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter to see all of my latest videos. So well, thank you guys again. And I'll catch you guys next time in my next video. Peace.